in Michigan has some people here in Southwest Florida worried about safety on campus or at least at least questioning it tonight. FGCU has its own police department, but students we spoke with today told us more needs to be done for your corners. Adam Pinsker with more on what needs to happen. Adam. Although it happened hundreds of miles away, a shooting on the campus of Central Michigan University is on the minds of FGCU students. You know, you never know what's going to happen. You just walk into class and then one day something could happen because it's happening a lot more and it's pretty scary. Freshman Kaz Pacuza says active shooting scenarios were never a part of orientation when he arrived on campus. Like they have like optional seminars, but like really like they don't give us any information really. Like basically if I heard a shooting, I just Run. FGCU police didn't respond to our request for comment on whether they will beef up security around campus after the latest shooting. On its website, the University Police Department has a link to a video about how to survive a mass shooting. Students say they received emails from campus police shortly after the Parkland shooting, but some students say the school needs to be more proactive with security. Much like Central Michigan, FGCU is an open campus. Letting less people on campus from right here, and there's a lot of locals that just walk on campus for stuff to do. And besides that, uh, black classrooms actually do this already, is locking the doors. Other students say there's only so much police can do, and if someone is determined to cause harm, they will. So you never know, like, you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and it can happen anywhere. In Estero, Adam Pinsker, Fox 4, in your corner. FGCU students can text a complaint about a potential crime or any disturbance to campus police. They can also sign up for the Eagle app to get safety alerts on campus.